This video is for people that have a 3D printer and enjoy designing things. Here is an example of a compliant part and you can use compliance to enhance brackets. Compliance is a way that we are clamping items together as opposed to other methods of clamping, which is just a fastening method that's frequently used in brackets while you are designing. You may have already designed with compliance if you ever made a part like this black shape that is gripping another part and when it stretches outwards to fit onto the part it applies a force together just like your fingers would do and when you use this method it can cause some issues in your design that makes it more difficult to design I won't go over the issues, instead I will just demonstrate a change of strategy here. I think everybody is familiar with compliance already, such as this lid where the tab will squeeze together and then you get a snapping function. But I'm gonna invent some words so that we can have this discussion. We'll call it C compliance and Sigma compliance, where C compliance grips like your hand to prevent the part from escaping, and Sigma compliance clamps like uh, something else, like a Sigma, to prevent the part from doing the same thing. Mapping back to normal people talk, uh, I think the C compliance is just what we naturally design for uh, on our first try. When I do this, then I'm gonna squeeze this way, and I would just design my shape a little bit smaller than the shape of my part, and then it's going to be squeezing all around. So if the green part is smaller than the black part, then we have these weird looking areas where there's interference in our pair of models. So all I did was expand my green part to be just a hair larger than my puck, and then I lifted the floor so it's going to be pushing up if I do something cool like interference detection, then you're going to get, oh, calculate, you're going to get that tips only that are interfering between the two parts. So now my echo dot wants to escape in this direction, but it can't because of these little tabs. I started using Sigma compliance in my designs and it made everything better and easier, more robust. If you really want to understand the details of the concept, I recommend that you download this part. It's free and open source, as always, under dot bracket on GrabCAD.